Lake Como, Italy, with our good friend Rubio Chef here. Finally. Finally made it. I've come all the way here just to see him. He's going to come back to Australia another time. Um, hopefully soon. Hopefully very soon. Uh, and we're going to make a risotto. So you were explaining to me before that um, the risotto we're going to make, we're not going to use any onion. It's no. going to be basic. It's about the rice. It's about the flavours. It's about the ingredients. And it's about the area. So the rice tastes like rice. The herbs taste like herbs. The shrimp tastes like prawns. You know, it's, that fl it's about real flavours. It's not yeah. about the rice tasting like onion, tasting like garlic, tasting like it's everything being respected. We don't want to confuse our mouth. <laughs> Steps. First step for the risotto. How do we call this risotto? I don't know. Uh, Lake Como risotto. Como risotto. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's the, the, the butter is gonna uh, be aromized. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, with the I was saying avec, avec. like French. <laughs> uh, with the herbs, uh, and uh, we just need to put the butter inside. Mm -hmm. Break the herbs on top. Yep. Mix, mix. it and uh, just leave it for a few minutes. Uh, so the flavor is gonna infuse infuse uh, in yep. the fat. We have uh, wild fennel, myrtle, spring onion, rosemary, and uh, thyme, and the classic parsley, parsley. and basil that uh, is a symbol of uh, Italy. Yeah. All right. So this is the butter that's going to be monted through the risotto after it's been cooked, right? So it's going to be cooked risotto with a bisque we're going to make later on and then this sort of herbaceous, sort of amazing butter montade through. So the next step is the prawns. So we're going to peel the prawns and we're going to roast the shells with garlic. Cook them, uh, brings out flavour, brings out the colour and then we're going to make a stock or like a bisque out of it. We're going to roast the shell of these amazing prawns that in Italy is called uh, mazzancolla and uh, the meat is really elegant and interesting and uh, the nice looking one uh, is going to be part of the final uh, touch the bad looking one uh, we are going to chop it and put in the rice that is going to be risotto so we're going to chop three four five of these and then keep three as garnishes it's been on there for about 10 minutes you reckon so Ready because of what reason? It's just, sort of just the colour. So you can see the colour's all changed and cooked. And there's a little bit of colour in there too. It's so a bit smoky now. Yeah. It's a nice smell. Mm. So sexy. The herbs, the fire. Alright, so straight in the pot. A little glug of olive oil. So we're going to continue to cook them, is that right? And we're going to try and get all that sort of sticky. Yeah. Caramelization on the pan. We want to be sticky, uh, so when we're going to add uh, cold water, yep. it's gonna take the skinny. Like the glaze. Mm -hmm. It smells so good. Yep. We're gonna get this pot on. This is our risotto pot. So we wanna get this really, really hot. So, Rubio's rules really, really hot. And we're gonna crack the rice and we're gonna keep it moving, no oil. Um, no onion, no garlic, it's just all about the rice right now. So this bisque is going to sit on the heat for about 20 minutes. And what happens is all that sort of roasted prawn flavour, all those herbs, all that garlic, all that flavour is going to come in and um, infuse into that liquid. And that's our, our stock, that's our bisque for our risotto. Now you have to add them. Let's do like this. Yeah. No more. And uh, with the dry one. Um, yeah. So you toast it, you add your salt. The salt covers the grains of the rice. Yeah. Yeah. And then when you, we're going to add the stock, disc, yep. the stock, it's going to be attached to the grain. Yeah. Yeah. And then. Uh, so uh, every grain, every, every grain, grain is seasoned and every grain is yeah. full of bisque and yeah. flavour. Yeah. I couldn't find better words. <laughs> Even because I'm Italian. No? <laughs> so that's hot, that's right. It's like warm, it's Please go on. cracking. So we're going to go stock, yeah? Yep. And you're going to tell me when to stop? Yes. 
this, this movement, this movement <laughs> is gonna release uh, uh, slowly and gently the starch that in the end is gonna create the cream. So yep. we don't need cream, we don't need uh, butter for make this, uh, cr the creamy... So all the rice, all just the rice. rice yeah. So you wanna cook the rice, every grain, evenly. So if you don't move your rice, if you're not constantly stirring it and not releasing the, the starch, then the base will cook at a different time to the top, or yeah. cook at a different time to the side. More salt? More salt, but it's so sexy. <laughs> so this is, it's gonna help release the extra starch, isn't it? When you're tossing it, the starch yeah. comes out. Just uh, really gently. So this. That's amazing. Just getting shacked, going for a surf. Lake Como. <laughs> Bicona. You. Okay. So when you toss the rice like that, is it true that like it cools it down and helps release starch to bring it together and make it creamy and See, it's a cooked point. Yeah. The herb oils and the butter, and then into the risotto, and then straight away, as soon as it, as soon as it hits it, it's just like boom. I'm speechless. Yeah. Like, Do you sit down? You okay? <laughs> so tell me your theory about <coughs> plating and eating risotto. Okay. Like now why? Why flat? I think. Yeah. Because flat. You can see clearly all the ingredients. So. Yeah. Legend. That's it. Our epic Como risotto. <laughs> Biggie head. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I see you on Monday. Yeah, yeah. But hey, make sure you check out Rubio on Instagram and Facebook and on TV and everywhere else because he's just everywhere in general. And uh, and Bondi on uh, the terrace. Yeah, yeah. And then you're coming to Bondi, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna teach you to spearfish. Yeah, guys. Ciao.